Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss our enlightening videos. Today we're diving into something truly magical, the full moon in July and how it can transform your life. The full moon has always been a symbol of mystery, spirituality, and immense power. And according to the teachings of the renowned Dolores Cannon, this July's full moon carries a special energy that can bring profound changes. So grab a comfy seat, maybe a cup of tea, and let's explore how you can harness this lunar magic. Point 1. Understanding the full moon's energy. First off, let's talk about the energy of the full moon itself. The full moon is when the moon's energy is at its peak. This heightened energy amplifies our emotions, thoughts, and intentions. It's a time for heightened intuition and clarity. Dolores Cannon, a pioneer in past life regression and metaphysical studies, believed that the full moon acts as a magnifying glass for our inner desires and feelings. Imagine this. Just as the full moon illuminates the night sky, it also lights up our subconscious, bringing hidden thoughts and emotions to the surface. This is the perfect time to reflect on your life, identify what no longer serves you, and set clear, positive intentions for the future. But why does this happen? The full moon's gravitational pull affects not just the tides but also the water within our bodies, given that we are made up of approximately 60% water. This pull can lead to a surge in our emotional and mental states, making us more sensitive and intuitive. It's as if the moon is drawing out our inner truths, pushing us to face them head on. Dolores Cannon emphasized that the full moon is a time of culmination and revelation. Everything that has been building up over the lunar cycle reaches a peak. If you've been working on a project, dealing with a challenging situation, or processing complex emotions, the full moon brings these to a head, often providing the clarity needed to see the path forward. Moreover, many ancient cultures and spiritual traditions recognize the full moon as a potent time for rituals and ceremonies. This belief stems from the idea that the moon's energy can amplify our intentions and prayers, making our spiritual practices more effective. Whether it's a personal reflection, a release ritual, or a manifestation exercise, doing these during a full moon can significantly enhance their impact. Dolores Cannon's teachings suggest that the full moon can also act as a bridge to higher consciousness, offering opportunities for spiritual downloads and insights. This is a time when the veil between the physical and spiritual realms is thinner, allowing for deeper connections and understanding. If you're open to it, you might experience profound realizations or intuitive hits that guide you on your life's journey. In essence, the full moon's energy is a powerful tool for transformation. By tapping into this energy, you can gain deeper insights into your inner world, clear out what's no longer needed, and set the stage for new beginnings. So as the full moon rises, take a moment to bask in its glow, reflect on your life, and embrace the opportunity for growth and renewal. Point 2. The Significance of July's Full Moon So why is the full moon in July so special? According to various spiritual traditions, the July full moon, often called the Buck Moon, is a time of powerful transformation and growth. In Dolores Cannon's teachings, this period is seen as a gateway for spiritual awakening and personal development. This is the time when nature is in full bloom, and similarly, it's an opportunity for us to blossom and grow. The energy of this full moon encourages us to step into our true potential, let go of old patterns and embrace new beginnings. The buck moon gets its name because it is the time when male deer, known as bucks, grow their new antlers. This symbolism reflects a period of renewal and regrowth, resonating with our own lives. Just as the bucks shed their old antlers to make way for new ones, we too can shed our old habits, beliefs, and emotional baggage to make room for personal growth and transformation. Dolores Cannon often spoke about the cycles of nature and how they mirror our spiritual journeys. The July full moon, occurring in the heart of summer, is when the energy of growth and abundance is at its peak. It's a powerful time to align ourselves with these natural rhythms and harness this energy for our personal development. During this period, you might find that you have more clarity about your life's direction, 
a stronger sense of purpose and a renewed drive to pursue your goals. This is the perfect time to take stock of where you are and where you want to be. Use this heightened energy to make decisive changes, set ambitious goals, and push forward with determination. Moreover, the July full moon's transformative energy is not just about external achievements. It's also a time for deep inner work. Reflect on your emotional and spiritual well-being. Are there old wounds that need healing? Patterns of behavior that no longer serve you? This is the time to address these issues with compassion and intention, releasing what's holding you back and welcoming new, positive influences into your life. In many cultures, the buck moon is also a time of gratitude for the abundance of the season. This spirit of thankfulness can enhance our rituals and practices during the full moon. Take a moment to appreciate the growth you've experienced so far and the opportunities that lie ahead. This gratitude can amplify your manifestations, drawing even more positive energy into your life. Dolores Cannon believed that the energy of the full moon could be a powerful catalyst for awakening and enlightenment. By tuning into the July full moon, you can tap into a wellspring of transformative energy that can guide you toward greater self-awareness, spiritual growth, and personal empowerment. So, as you prepare for this magical time, remember that the July full moon is not just about witnessing a celestial event. It's about embracing a period of profound change, aligning with nature's cycles and stepping into your fullest potential. Whether you're releasing old habits, setting new goals, or simply taking a moment to reflect and be grateful, this full moon offers a unique opportunity to transform your life in meaningful ways. Point three, preparing for the full moon ritual. Now, how can you prepare to make the most of this transformative energy? It all starts with creating a sacred space. Find a quiet, comfortable spot where you won't be disturbed. You might want to cleanse the area using sage, palo santo, or even salt. This helps to clear any negative energy and set a peaceful, focused atmosphere. Take a few deep breaths, ground yourself, and allow your mind to settle. The goal is to create an environment where you feel safe and serene, ready to connect with the lunar energy and your inner self. Setting the scene is crucial for any ritual. Consider adding elements that make the space feel special and conducive to your practice. You could light candles to symbolize illumination and clarity, or arrange crystals known for their spiritual properties, such as moonstone for intuition or clear quartz for amplification. Soft, calming music or natural sounds can also help to create a tranquil ambiance. Once your space is prepared, think about what you want to bring into the ritual. A journal and pen are essential for jotting down your reflections, intentions, and any insights that come to you. If you have any significant objects like a piece of jewelry or a photograph, these can serve as focal points to anchor your thoughts and intentions. Grounding yourself is the next step. Stand barefoot on the ground if possible, and take a few deep breaths. Visualize roots extending from your feet into the earth, connecting you to its stabilizing energy. This grounding process helps to center your mind and body, making you more receptive to the full moon's influence. Meditation is another powerful way to prepare. Close your eyes and focus on your breath, letting go of any tension or distracting thoughts. As you breathe deeply, imagine drawing in the moon's energy, filling your body with its calming light. This meditation can help you align your personal energy with the moon's powerful vibration. Reflect on what you hope to achieve during this full moon. Are there specific goals you want to manifest? old habits you're ready to release. Visualize these intentions clearly. The clearer your vision, the more powerful your ritual will be. Remember, preparation is about more than just physical space. It's about mental and emotional readiness too. Approach this ritual with an open heart and mind, willing to embrace whatever insights or changes come your way. The more sincerely you engage with the process, the more profound your experience will be. So, Take your time with this preparation. Allow yourself to fully immerse in the moment, setting the stage for a meaningful and transformative full moon ritual. By carefully crafting this sacred space and grounding yourself, you'll be better equipped to harness the powerful energy of the full moon and channel it towards your personal growth and spiritual awakening. Point four, 
the power of intention setting. Once your space is prepared, it's time to set your intentions. This is a crucial step. Think deeply about what you want to release and what you wish to manifest. Be specific and honest with yourself. Maybe you want to let go of self-doubt or manifest a new career opportunity. Write these intentions down in a journal. As you write, visualize these desires coming to fruition. Imagine the feelings of joy and satisfaction that will come when your intentions manifest. This emotional connection strengthens your intentions, making them more powerful. When setting your intentions, it's important to use positive and present tense language. Instead of writing, I want to be less anxious, frame it as, I am calm and confident. This phrasing helps your subconscious mind to believe and internalize these affirmations as truths. As you write, take your time to feel each word. The more genuine and heartfelt your intentions, the more potent they will be. Visualize the details, the sights, sounds, and feelings associated with achieving your goals. This visualization acts as a mental rehearsal, preparing you to recognize and seize opportunities when they arise. Once your intentions are set, read them aloud if you feel comfortable. This act of vocalizing can further embed your goals into your consciousness, reinforcing your commitment to making them a reality. Remember, the full moon's energy is there to support you, amplifying your intentions and helping to turn them into tangible outcomes. Setting intentions under the full moon is not just about hoping for change. It's about taking proactive steps to create the life you envision. This practice empowers you to align your actions with your deepest desires, harnessing the lunar energy to propel you forward on your path to personal growth and fulfillment. Point 5. Embracing the Release Ritual After setting your intentions, it's time for the release ritual. This symbolic act helps you let go of the negative energies and patterns holding you back. Write down what you want to release on a piece of paper. These could be fears, limiting beliefs, or any emotional baggage. Then, safely burn the paper, watching as the smoke carries these unwanted aspects away. Visualize these elements leaving your life, creating space for new positive energies. This ritual not only symbolizes release, but also reinforces your commitment to personal growth and transformation. As you perform this ritual, take a moment to reflect on each item you're releasing. Acknowledge the impact they've had on your life and express gratitude for the lessons learned. This practice of gratitude can help you make peace with your past, making it easier to let go. Feel the weight of these burdens lifting off your shoulders as the paper burns. Imagine them dissolving into the air, freeing you from their grasp. This visualization can be incredibly powerful, helping you to mentally and emotionally detach from these negative influences. The release ritual is not just about removing the old, it's also about making room for the new. By letting go of what no longer serves you, you create a vacuum that can be filled with positive energy and opportunities. This process of release and renewal is essential for your ongoing personal and spiritual development. Remember, the act of burning the paper is a physical manifestation of your intention to release. It serves as a concrete reminder of your commitment to change and growth. As the smoke rises, feel a sense of liberation and readiness to embrace the new possibilities that await you. After the ritual, take a few moments to sit in silence and absorb the experience. Notice any shifts in your energy or mindset. This quiet reflection can help you integrate the release and prepare for the positive changes that are on the horizon. By regularly practicing this release ritual, you can continually clear away the mental and emotional clutter that accumulates over time. This ongoing practice helps to maintain a clear and focused state of mind, enabling you to stay aligned with your intentions and goals. Embracing the release ritual during the full moon can be a transformative experience providing you with a powerful tool to support your journey of self-discovery and personal evolution. Point 6. Cultivating Gratitude Finally, let's talk about gratitude. Ending your full moon ritual with gratitude is incredibly powerful. Take a few moments to reflect on the positive aspects of your life and express thanks for them. Gratitude opens your heart, raises your vibration, 
and aligns you with the energy of abundance. Dolores Cannon often spoke about the power of gratitude in manifesting our desires. When you appreciate what you have, you attract more blessings into your life. So, thank the moon, the universe, and yourself for this beautiful journey of self-discovery and transformation. Think about the people, experiences, and achievements that bring joy and meaning to your life. Whether it's your health, family, friendships, or personal accomplishments, acknowledging these blessings helps to create a positive mindset. You might choose to write these things down in your journal or simply hold them in your thoughts. Gratitude shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant. This shift not only makes you feel better but also attracts more positive experiences. As you express gratitude, feel the warmth and expansion in your heart. This emotional uplift reinforces a state of contentment and joy, making it easier for you to maintain a positive outlook in your daily life. Take a moment to also thank yourself for the effort and dedication you've put into your spiritual journey. Recognizing your own growth and progress is a vital part of cultivating self-love and respect. By consistently practicing gratitude, you create a powerful cycle of positivity and abundance in your life. This practice aligns perfectly with the full moon's energy, helping you to manifest your intentions and embrace new opportunities with an open heart and mind. So, as you conclude your ritual, let gratitude be the final powerful note that carries you forward. And there you have it, folks. The full moon in July is a powerful time for reflection, release, and setting intentions. By following these steps, you can harness its energy to bring profound changes into your life. Remember, the universe is always listening, and your intentions are the seeds of your future. Thank you for joining me on this magical journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below on how you plan to harness the energy of this July full moon. Don't forget to subscribe to our Balanced Journey channel for more inspiring content on spirituality and personal growth. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay curious, stay positive, and keep shining bright.